All right, guys. So I had some decent luck going trash picking today. First thing, found a battery core. It is an older battery. 9 of 09. It is still under their prorated warranty by about a year, I believe. Six years. Yeah, 9 of 2015. A little bit, a little bit over a year actually, but not too bad. Good for a core. I doubt it still works. It is a pretty old battery, but you know, <laughs> can't complain too much. Um, what I actually saw was a neighbor's house in my neighborhood. Um, I don't know if their house was being foreclosed on or not, but they had a big pile of random crap out in front of their house. And I figured, eh, why not take a look at it? What first caught my eye was this fan. I knew it was going to be kind of jacked up a little bit, and the base of it has definitely seen better days. However, it works perfectly fine. It would make a great garage fan, even though I've already got one out here. Um, does need a little bit of work to the base, <clears throat> but all the speed settings work, um, as well as the oscillation. I also found this Lasco ceramic space heater, um, and it works. All three of these things work, work, actually, and I saw this kind of buried in there, and I knew what it was, and, you know, until I actually saw it up close, then I really knew what it was. Um, so on a whim, I took all these three, three things home and figured, what the hell, see if it works, and if it doesn't, just throw them right back into the trash, or in the case of that fan, I could use the parts. So, watch this. It's already on setting three, two, one. The ion feature apparently works. The ionizing feature. It also goes back and forth. I've actually already got one of these in the house, but it also has a timer here. So you can see, one hour, two hour, and four hour. Or three hour, rather, and then four. Huh, goes up more than I thought, five, six, and a total of seven hours. So that's really not bad. Um, you can't really argue too much about finding something for free. All three of these need a good amount of cleaning. Um, <clears throat> the uh, space heater, I'll go ahead and show you guys this real quick. The funny thing with this is it was kind of in at a weird angle. I thought it was a paper shredder at first and I was going to grab it anyways until I looked at it. And then my second guess was, okay, it's some sort of fan kind of like this one. And then I plugged it in right when I got home and it's a space heater, a fully working space heater. I mean, I don't know why somebody would throw stuff like this out, but it's got all sorts of different settings. I don't want to get it up that high. Um, you got high, low, and then an eco mode. So that's kind of cool. I, uh, the only time I've really used space heaters is at work, and that's because they suck up a lot of power. Um, I don't know offhand how many watts this thing is rated for, but I have a small one that's like, you know, probably about that tall, maybe that wide, and it sucks up a lot of power. Um, there's also something in it as well. 1500 watts <laughs> yeah this thing is uh these really make your electric bill go up so i'm gonna need to take that apart and see what's inside it but uh this guy over here as i was saying the base is kind of jacked up where i live in california you can never have too many fans you got three settings, and then you're off. 
There's the third setting, second setting, first setting. Oh, that's interesting. The third setting, I guess, is the lowest, and the first setting is the highest speed. Not too bad, though. And it was oscillating earlier. Oh, was it down all the way? Derp. It's a little jacked up. Could probably use a little bit of elbow grease. But, honestly, like I was saying earlier, you can't argue with stuff for free. Oh, and I also found a, uh, what the hell is it? I don't think I took it out of the car. Um, it was a uh, brand new little lamp. You know, maybe a foot tall uh, from the bottom, maybe to there. Brand new. Still had the tags on it. <laughs> Didn't have a light bulb in it, but I mean, I don't know what the story was with that house. I mean, maybe it was foreclosed and the people, you know, bailed out of it or something and left a whole bunch of stuff behind, but... In case you guys are wondering, no, this isn't my truck. Wish it was, but a little, little out of my price range. Um, anyways, anyways, I was told that I can borrow the truck here to go pick up all that scrap metal that's sitting out in front of that house. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully nobody else has taken it yet. I don't think anybody has, but I've been wrong before. So I just got back. Show you guys what I got. Scrap metal. This is why I need a truck. That's exactly why. All sorts. Scrap back here. Not a whole bunch, but a decent amount. Piece of uh, old cast iron right there. This is a barbecue, nasty ass barbecue. You never want to eat out of that again. Bunch of cookware that scrap metal. Also some crutches that may or may not be worth anything. At the very least scrap. And a uh, shower curtain holder. Find all sorts of stuff doing this. Something quick about these crutches. I'm gonna price them out, see how much crutches are going for on Craigslist. These are the model numbers and who made them. You know, maybe 20 bucks each pair or something like that. They're in pretty good shape. Need new pads. Maybe I can replace those if it's worth my while. But, uh, yeah. There you go, guys. Even if I make 10 bucks off the pair, each one's, you know, not that big of a deal. Go pick them up for free. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know a lot of you enjoy my trash picking, you know, random crap videos. So there you go. Here's another one for you.